Survival takes on many different shapes and forms. Staying alive in the face of adversity is generally not something that should be left to chance. Those who are prepared will almost always have a better go at things when the sky starts falling than those individuals who are not. For this reason, making an emergency survival gear list and then acquiring the items on this list are truly actions that may just end up saving your life someday. In this article, we will be addressing a few different survival scenarios you might find yourself in, as well as a few essential items that can mean all the difference between a full, long life and an unfortunate early demise. This article is extremely important, so please be sure to read every word of it. You owe it to yourself and your family to educate yourself about real survival. Before busting out a pen and paper and just randomly listing off a bunch of crap you think you may need, I think it is of the essence to first think in terms of potential scenarios you may find yourself in. There are a number of situations where life-threatening events can transpire in the blink of an eye. So let's list them off, and then offer items to add to your survival gear list as part of each scenario. Scenario number 1, Violent Situations with Other Humans. What would you do if you awoke in the middle of the night only to realize that there was a total stranger in your home, rummaging through your belongings, or worse, holding a gun to your head, or your spouse's head, or, gulp, gasp, your kid's head? Are you prepared for this type of situation? I won't tell you what you should do, as that isn't the intention of this article, but I can certainly present you with a short survival gear list. Weapons, guns, throwing stars, blunt object weapons, knives, swords, crossbows, razor wire, etc. Books and videos on effective negotiation. Read them, watch them, learn them, and commit this knowledge to memory. Self-defense training. DVDs and books are great, but nothing beats real training in a real dojo. Strength and cardio training. You need to become as strong, agile, flexible, and well interested as possible. A home security system. An emergency cell phone always charged and located right by your bed at all times. Scenario number two, man versus nature. If you ever find yourself in a man versus wild type situation where you are facing the elements, possible dehydration and dehydration, and various predators, you would be a fool to have not first prepared yourself for this. And the very first bit of preparation you need is preparation of the mind. You need to know the dangers you face and what to do in each situation. Here is a quick survival gear list if you find yourself face to face with nature. Education. Books can truly be your best friends in these situations. Bring a survival book or two along with you on your adventure. The more relevant the books that are the specific landscape you've encountered, the better. A large canteen and water filter. A sharp knife and or machete. A gun with plenty of ammo or a small crossbow with plenty of arrows. A compass. beef jerky, trail mix, and other dried foods. Matches or a lighter with plenty of fuel. A tent. A cell phone. Rain gear slash a tarp. Other gear specific to the landscape. Scenario number three, disaster preparedness. This includes both natural disasters and war situations. Your survival gear list should include plenty of food and bottled water, enough to last up to a year or longer. Gas masks. Inflatable rafts. Duct tape and plastic sheets. Generators with plenty of fuel. Matches, lighters, etc. Sleeping bags and plenty of warm clothing. 
Each survival gear list shown above contains extremely valuable items in times of crisis, although the lists are not necessarily complete, which is why your first and most powerful weapon will always be education. Take survivalist classes, watch the Discovery Channel, and read, read, read.